Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Idle Zeros. Uh, today, we are on the main account. The most exciting development for this one, if you saw in the last video, we have a new Aspen copy for our Lord of Fear Aspen. He's quite offensive. We've got B plus attack now. Well, we had B plus attack before, but it was like 4,400, so it was like the lowest possible B plus attack. Um, and we have B plus HP now. 5.2 million attack. Something I wish I had been recording for but wasn't because I'm a goober is we cleared 245 with just SQH and LFA. I didn't use the trans puppet for this one because EOS was gaining energy and the puppet wasn't even getting an attack off. So it would die and then feed the EOS energy and then EOS would get an active off even though she was feared. So we took him out. We took the puppet out and then that eventually was the winning ticket. Uh, it took about probably 30, 40 tries before we were able to do that. Uh, something I'm quite excited for, we get a core of origin for clearing 2, 4, 10. Something I'm not excited for is that we're stuck here. We stand no chance because the Russells dazzle us and LFA can't fear more than one person in the first round, and so we just lose. And also we're slower. Somehow we're not dazzled there. Oh, I guess the puppet got the dazzle that time. Which, I don't know, that's kind of cool, actually. We might we might actually stand a chance in that case, but I still think that after the puppet dies in round two, um, our LFA will be feared, and then we'll just get obliterated by the Sias. But that's not the purpose of today's video. The purpose of today's video is actually to see what we can do in Dominator. Now that I have my crit stone back, um, I pushed up to... Am I still the man? Am I still the guy? Yes. Awesome. Uh, I cleared Dom 3 with my GK Aspen, and I want to see how far into Dom we can push with regular Aspen. So I think that'll be cool. So we're, of course, going to get Transcendence Protection eventually. Um, and we're going to be utilizing the Drake Synergy. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically Drake will put the defense down on whoever the weakest enemy is. And then LFA will get an active skill. And because you you can target whoever you want with LFA's act, active based on his placement, um, he just, just annihilates whoever the defense down hero is, which is almost always carry. Yeah, as you can see, the slot two carry. And so we get an active off, carry dies. Ignis is going to feed us a second active. Now everybody's going to take more crit damage because of Halora's active skill. <laughs> This is a little bit scary, actually. We might lose this first one. Yeah, it's not as... Uh... Game mode darn is fun without a giant killer. And then, yeah, we're just not getting the death spread effect, which is kind of, kind of sad, to be honest. Yeah, so this wave might be a skip for now, and then we'll try it with Rui, which isn't as funny as just watching everybody die round one. But we do what we need to do when we don't have an A tier. We'll give this one a shot, even though it looks very similar to the last one. Yeah, I'm not expecting a much different outcome. And then Halora doesn't even get her active off this one this time. Which means we're not going to do bonus crit damage. Yeah, so this looks like another loss. Ouch. Let's see if there is one without Garuda. No, oh, Garuda's everywhere. Okay. So the plan now is we're going to switch to Rui. And we're going to get our crit buffs. Because that's what he does whenever he lands fears. I think. And we're just going to try again and see what we can do. And we'll just land our active skill in round two. So Rui Scepter giving us our fear on everybody except for the Drake. That went much better. That's what we like to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's funny how even when he's the primary damage dealer, it looks like Rui still might be the way to go because of how he buffs himself. Here we go. That's going to be a win. Awesome. Um, I think... Because of how that looked, we might be able to clear at least Dom 6, if not Dom 5. 
Can I get the transcendence protection? There we go. We're going to go again. This time only landing fears on two enemies, which is kind of unfortunate. But then he releases his active skill and just does crazy damage. Lord of Fear Aspen is such a wild hero. Such a wild hero. And this looks like it's going to be another loss for us. Because we can't get another active off with the double carries. Do we get one here? We do. And it looks like that was our win condition. Halora is, of course, dead now. And we're just not going to get another active skill. We do. We just need to get lucky with the carry marks. And that's going to be it. Round 17 victory. Aspen's sustain is so crazy. I love this hero. Carry is again going to be the weakest here. I'm a little bit concerned that even with Rui Scepter, we're not getting very lucky with fears. Look at that active skill. And here's another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this nuke is so wild. And this is with Rui Scepter, not with Melodic Strings. So badass. Uh, for those of you who have stuck around this long, um, if you're getting bored, at least uh, skip to the end because I'm going to show off something that I made. Um, it's I wanted it to be a thumbnail, um, and I thought it was funny, and it, it was funny, I think, uh, except the text in it is too small to actually read. So... It just it could it wouldn't be a successful thumbnail because everybody would have to squint to maybe be able to read what it actually says. Um, so I'm just gonna pull it up in my camera roll real quick uh, at the end of the video. If I remember, if I don't, I'll just put it at the end. And then here's my preemptive apology if I forget to put it in. We're gonna die here. Actually, never mind because fear prevents Garuda from critting. What a wild, wild hero. Are we going to lose here, I think? Yes. We'll try again. And then if we lose, we'll re-roll. No big deal. Here comes an active. Crazy. Comes another active. Phoenix buff, active skill. Fear on the Garudas. I don't think we're going to be able to get lucky this time with our active. No. Okay, so I think we're going to try to find a single carry wave. Or a no carry wave. This looks interesting. Uh, I think four C's is probably going to be the weakest one. Which means we don't get to use energy feed. Yeah, he is. Uh, we don't get to use energy feed because Ignis feeds the next hero down. So unless the Rogan dies before the Ignis, uh, we don't get to feed Aspen. And we didn't. But that's okay because it doesn't look like it matters very much. The Andrea died even though the Annabelle took over our active skill. I'm not really sure what that's about, but I'm not going to complain. We're going to energy feed our Aspen again. Or not energy feed, moving back to slot two. We are still energy feeding, of course, but. This dude is insane. Absolute monster of a hero. And the Drake's energy is, of course, very nice. I built an Amon Ra, but she's level 100 because all the spirit is going directly into Aspen. Um, how do I feel about Halora Waves? I guess we'll find out. Um, Drake, probably, is going to be the weakest. Maybe. SFX, that's weird how a trans hero is the weakest one. Very weird indeed. Maybe it won't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> 
crazy, crazy damage. And then Annabelle's just brutal, taking over our active skill. So we're going to move Aspen to slot 1, Ignis to slot 2, and we're going to see if this goes any better. I think it should. I think it definitely, definitely should. The Rogans are going to give us a buff, and there we go. And we're going to get another active skill off, and that's going to be the end of it. Yeah. Insane damage. Insane damage. And just you can just imagine what he was like as a giant killer. We slapped melodic strings on him, and he just cleared everything. Absolute freak. I'm going to see if SFX is still the weakest one. Can I please get the Transcendence Protection? It's giving us a very hard time getting that. We usually get it on like the first or second one, but... Not today, I guess. I need Halora to get her active off. There we go. Crazy damage. And that's going to finish it. Yeah, I, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Just watching Aspen <laughs> just tear the stages apart. It makes me feel a little bit better about getting rid of my Mockman. Uh, he was very he was a very fun hero. I'm not gonna lie about that, and I do miss him sometimes. But for wanting to be a little bit different, we have to sacrifice some good heroes sometimes, and that's exactly what we did. I am unsure how I feel about this. I feel nervous. Yeah, it's going to be a loss. We'll try again. And then we can re-roll if it doesn't work. A singular fear. That was pathetic. That was pathetic. And then we're going to have a mark. Defense down. Yeah, this just looks pretty bad. Sad. Let's see what we got on the other ones. This one looks cool. The four C's is probably going to be the weakest, so we'll move him to slot five, and then Ignis to slot six. He is indeed the weakest, and you get another single fear. Your control immunity is just crazy. Hopefully it won't matter. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're having some trouble here. Goodness. We'll try again, and then if we fail, we'll... Well, we're obviously running out of attempts. Oh, there we go. No basic skills from the back line this time. And we're going to have a pretty awesome active this round because we got the Ignis active energy feeding us and then the regular energy feed as well. So it's just a bunch of skill damage. But it doesn't seem to matter. We'll give it one more try and then we'll re-roll if it doesn't work out. I think that's the best showing we've had so far. There we go. There we go. Are we going to die to the... <laughs> Slowly but surely. Uh, because Vesa keeps us from critting. Look at that. Round 13. Just the CC lock is crazy. We'll reroll this one. And we get one that's not, not ideal. But we'll give it a shot with our remaining two attempts. And then I will show you the thing that I alluded to in the beginning of the video. Or probably the middle of the video at this point. We're going to die here. Yeah. One more shot. Uh, we're definitely strong enough to clear Dom 5. Maybe strong enough to clear Dom 4 if we just keep on re-rolling. Um, but obviously seeing as I cleared all the way to Dom 3, and I don't think we can do that yet, 
Um, I don't really see a point in continuing to reroll for now, anyway. Maybe we'll try another push whenever we reach our third trans and we have another trans tenant, which will give us crazy, crazy power boost. And then also dodge, which will be very nice. But anyway, uh, the last thing that I want to show you, what is happening here? Uh-oh, here you go. This took, this looks like it was made by a child because the artwork is terrible. Um, however, this took me three and a half hours to make this. Um, it was very difficult, but I'm proud of it. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way to the end to see this. And I hope you enjoy this. Um, feel free to use, I don't really care if you give me credit or not. Um, but yeah, enjoy. And with that, everyone. Have a spectacular day. Have a good one.